Okay, wow. It's a few more people that were there from in my last talk last year, where it was the end of the conference. So thanks, thanks, thanks so much, everyone, for coming. Um, yeah, um, talk is called Validating the Map in the Open. I gave a talk seven years ago. Um, it's a very different time. Um, I was working at a different place. Um, that was called Validating the Map. And uh, this one's got it's kind of important three words at the end of it uh, in the open. Um, and, you know, so it's a little bit, it, the, the talk's going to be a little bit of a reprise. Look, look what's happened at, in the last seven years and a sort of look ahead at kind of, it's, it's a bit of a fundamental issue with OpenStreetMap that I feel we don't want, we don't talk enough about. We don't want to talk enough about because it's a bit scary to talk mm -hmm. about. And also, if we talk about it, maybe bad things will happen. But, you know, uh, we kind of need to talk about it sometimes. So, um, yeah, who am I? Um, I'm Sanjay Bhangar. I work uh, with Development Seed for the past five years. I was with uh, Mapbox before that. Um, been a part of OSM stuff for a long time from when Mikhail and Skylar came to India, I think like 12 or 15 years ago, and got a bunch of us into, into this great project. Um, yeah, do, do a bunch of different things at Development Seed. We're a software consultancy, so work on a bunch of different projects. I'm also the system architect for the International Federation of the Red Cross uh, Go data platform. Um, so, you know, work um, work on various things where OSM data is kind of central um, to a lot of what we do. But very importantly, I live in Goa, uh, near a very small town called Mopsa. Uh, but so since I have the platform, if, if we change this conference name to State of the Map, USA, I'd have much cooler t-shirts because then I'd have a bunch of t-shirts that say state of Mapsa, which is yeah. usually nice. <laughs> okay, this was my talk from seven years ago, yeah. And um, as I said, kind of, uh, you know, very different times, um, you know, young and naive. And uh, I think, you know, the, the, the project as well, we, people were starting to talk about kind of the importance of validation, the importance of making sure bad things don't happen on the map. But, you know, it was still an incredible, what, like 13 years up to that point to have gotten from a blank map to where we were. And, you know, very clearly, it's very hard to change focus from like, let's get everything mapped to let's make sure bad things don't get on the map. And the past couple of days, that's been really, you know, firm with a lot of, you know, with the overture chat yesterday and things like, okay, OSM is going to, edits on OSM are going to make their way to, you know, millions, billions of devices across the world is going to kind of like impact lives. Um, bad things on the map are going to impact lives in bad ways. These have real world consequences. Um, yeah, brief, um, you know, the next few slides, I guess, is a brief history of those past seven years and what's what's happened since since that since that last talk and so in that last talk we were you know we were introducing osm cha we were talking about some of the stuff we were doing at mapbox um talking about other great community projects that um are working on validating the map i know i'm going to miss some of them in this talk and i sort of apologize and big shout out to everyone working in this space um it's a very hard space to work in and appreciate everyone doing doing everything in this space. Um, but yeah, we were, you know, working as one does in OSM, um, putting things out there, kind of asking for community involvement, getting people involved. And then 30th August, 2018. Um, I don't know if this date means a lot to you folks, but it finally happened. A major metropolitan city in the United States was renamed to a racial slur. It made headlines, BBC, got, you know, headlines of major newspapers. This problem was real. Um, and it had, you know, terrible consequences. And this is something, you know, open data projects have had to deal with. Like this will occasionally happen with Wikipedia. Like, hey, look at this thing on Wikipedia. It's wrong. Ha ha. Um, but people mostly understand how Wikipedia works and Wikipedia, um, is also, you know, it's a free service. People kind of understand how it works here. You have large companies selling their maps, people paying good money for their maps. And 
if this kind of stuff shows up on the map, it's not okay. So, you know, fear, panic. I was extremely, extremely, extremely happy at this moment to not be working with Mapbox <laughs> anymore. Uh, it had been about nine months since uh, I'd left the company. I still had friends there. My heart went out to everyone um, sort of in the war room, figuring out what had happened. But that fundamentally changed a lot of things, right? Like it became extremely clear, like this is not, this is not something we can take chances on for large companies whose customers depend on these maps. Um, this is something that, you know, regardless of what happens in this crazy open street map world where we don't understand like the community and things, we got to make sure our maps for our customers never have something like this happen to them, right? This was kind of, it became non-negotiable at that point. And, you know, kind of fair enough, large companies started kind of doing their own thing. Um, it became sort of, it made more sense to sort of work on their own systems um, and not kind of depend on the community uh, because it was really a matter of like, it was, it was something that could break, that could break companies, right? So um, we had, um, you know, Apple, uh, I think Apple released the Atlas platform to run a bunch of checks on OSM. Um, and that sort of, well, you know, I think different companies are doing their own thing, which is mostly a combination of like AI, manual review, fairy dust, um, you know, um, that kind of ensures that the map stay validated, gives confidence to, to customers that something like, you know, something like the incident would not, would not happen again. Um, and yeah, that's, that's like, that's led to really interesting good things, right? There's, there's, there's the daylight distribution that Meta puts out um, that, that produces, um, you know, validated map of the world where take a snapshot of OSM, do intense quality control, do manual review, make sure everything that gets in sort of has passed uh, quality control and then distributes that for free. And that's great. Uh, but is that also how we want OSM data to be consumed through sort of like going through sort of like corporate pipelines that we actually don't have any visibility into what's going on, right? Like we don't, we'll never fully know sort of what those checks are, why things, why something might not make it to the map, why something makes it to the map, et cetera. We can, it makes total sense that this happened, but is this, is this a sustainable future, right? If you look at the quality assurance page on the OSM wiki, so, so much has moved in seven years, right? Like we've gone, like companies have invested probably like millions of dollars in, in, in making this happen. And if you look at the QA wiki on OSM, not that much has changed. Um, we've got, these tools have improved, but we've got, you know, the, the same tools as, as OSM Char, as MapRoulette, great tools, but you know the, the 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 scale the scale of where things have moved is kind of you know a lot more in the closed space than the open space right um there's you know there's there's a lot of great tools out there and i'll go go over some of them and the reason for this a little bit is once one gets into it this is actually a really really hard problem um it's you know it's a hard problem on wikipedia and there you're dealing with text um and text is a well, reasonably well understood NLP problem. You know, we, we, we've had uh, email spam filters for a long time. People are really good at detecting problems with text changes. Um, with a map and with the OSM data schema, this is, this is really, really hard. And you have to start with very, very fundamental problems. Uh, what is a change? What is a version? These things are not very clear if you want to detect problems with changes and two versions, you need to know what a change is and what a version is. But, you know, someone moves a node on a way, they can move a node on a way, and this happened once in Lisbon, a single node was moved to somewhere in Brazil, and that had fun impacts on various routing engines. Um, but it, didn't, it doesn't increment um, the version of the way, right? And these are 
These are kind of really hard, fundamental, philosophical questions. And there's sort of no, there's no single approach. Of, there's no magic bullet um, that solves for these. This is a slide that was supposed to have some examples of, of errors, but I've been looking for internet all morning. Um, but essentially, there's, there's, there's a few different kinds of errors that are very distinct, right? There's people drawing graffiti on the map. Um, this happens a lot. Someone gives you a drawing tool, you can draw on a map that kind of goes out. You know, you draw something funny or weird. It's, it, um, this is, detecting that is extremely different from detecting profanity and name changes, for example. Um, that's extremely different from detecting weird tag combinations that are gonna affect rendering on the map. Um, so it's, it's a hard problem. This is, this is the Wikipedia. So Wikipedia has a machine learning interface called ORS that kind of real time as changes are made, gives, gives things a score of the likelihood of it being bad. And then you have a real time dashboard to kind of like see those changes and fix them, which my proposition is something that OSM needs, uh, but it's, a hard road to get there, or how do we get there, right? Like, how do we build real-time machine learning approaches um, to, to prioritize what people should edit, right? Like, there's been a major change to a monument, um, you know, that, you know, that should have priority. Someone should look at it. It should be fixed fast. What, what works for corporations in terms of, like, halting the map, doing quality control, and releasing, releasing a map two weeks later, great. OSM for the it's it's a living map. We need to fix stuff as it happens. We can't do this kind of like oh we fix stuff a month down the line, right? How do we get there? It's not clear. We've worked on stuff like OSM Compare, um, which the idea is you can just run functions on real time changes. You get an old feature, new feature. Uh, you run functions. This is something hopefully we'll be able to to open out. Um, dot dot dot. Sort of you no know, hoping hoping for ideas. Um, I think I think one proposal speaking to um, Jennings was that different different companies that are doing internal validation pipelines, let's let's develop a common schema for folks to publish the validation errors, right? So let's develop a common format, GeoJSON format, some common keys, some common schema where everyone can publish their data, and that can be consumed by tools like Mapulet, OSM Char, other tools, uh, machine learning tools to you know, to get a training data set to be able to then use past bad errors to predict future errors. Um, what are the next seven years going to look like? Um, that's that's that that's really going to be up to us, right? Like, does it does validation become more like a problem of corporations and something that happens internally in corporate kind of pipelines, or is this something that we can bring the community together to to do in the open to do together, right? Um, Let's support existing community projects. There's no single magic bullet. There's no one. There's 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 no one that's going to come with the grand solution that's going to make sure nothing on the map, map ever nothing bad on the map ever happens, right? Um, map Roulette and OSM Char now OSM US Charter projects. That's great. That's amazing. Uh, supported. I saw the presentation by Awesome yesterday. OHS OME. Uh, they're doing some amazing work on building real time pipelines. Um, there's, um, I know the hot team and with tasking manager are doing some amazing work, um, doing real time data processing. Let's, um, let's, let's hang out. Um, there's a buff at 4 PM, um, where we we'll talk about map roulette or validation stuff in general. If, um, if anyone's interested, um, please come. I'm on time. Thank you very much. Um, Thank you.